In this lecture, we are going to discuss about anti-allergic drugs. Anti-allergics also called antihistaminic drugs, and these are useful in allergic and inflammatory conditions. So, the main agent which is responsible for allergy is histamine. So, histamine is a chemical messenger that mediate a wide range of cellular reactions and those cellular reactions include allergic and inflammatory reactions, gastric acid secretion in stomach and neurotransmissions in parts of the brain. So now main classification of anti-allergic drugs and that include leucotriazine hydroxyzine, cytorizine, chlorpheniramine, cyclizine, loratadine, disloratadine, diphenhydramine, diminhydrinate, fixovenadine, meclizine and flomethazine. Mechanism of action of chlorpheniramine. So we are going to discuss one agent from whole classification and the most common anti-allergic which is chlorpheniramine. So its mechanism of action is that, that they block H1 receptor and they block the release of histamine. So actually chlorpheniramine is antihistaminic drug and its action on H1 receptor. Its pharmacokinetic is that its absorption occur well from stomach and its distribution is fine and its, and its distribution occur throughout the body. Metabolism actually occur in liver by cytochrome P450 enzyme systems and half-life so the average half-life of all anti-allergic drugs from 4 to 6 hour and meclizine which is exceptional in this list and it's applied from 12 to 24 hours. The main clinical use and indication of chlorpheniramine in allergic reactions and in allergic conditions. So side effects which are related to chlorpheniramine is that the most common side effect is anti uh, of anti-allergics is sedation and dry mouth which is actually xerostomia, blood vision, nausea, vomiting and abdominal or uh, GRT dis uh, distress which is the main side effects occur from chlorpheniramine and drug interaction which is possible with anti-allergic so anti-allergic must, must, uh, must not be prescribed with alcohol and benzodiazepine so thank you.